with the Winter Garden, which was kind of cool, it was in a very unique position, being right on Broadway, where so many of the theaters are on side streets. And this one was this massive theater on a full city block. It's quite removed from the rest of Times Square, which allows space outside and inside the theater. Well, the Winter Garden is, is really exceptional because it, it's so, um, it's really big, but it's intimate. The way it is laid out, it's very low and wide. The balcony doesn't go too high, so every single audience member can feel involved in the musical. When you can see their reaction, it, it definitely influences both on stage and off. So the actual building was originally built in 1896. Um, to be the American Horse Exchange. And um, it wasn't until 1911 the Schuberts rented it out um, and turned it into a theater, and they had the Ziegfeld Follies there for a while. West Side Story was there, 42nd Street, you know, Barbara Streisand doing her first show there, you know, this, the dressing room is still there where she was, though they may have painted, they may have remodeled, but it's the same room that she used. There was a false ceiling with cats. It was just all black and like trash everywhere. And then when we came back with Mamma Mia, it was kind of crazy because they restored it to its original. The architecture on the ceiling is created kind of like a dome. It's a dome structure. Then I looked out that night while I was performing and just saw the arched beams. It looked like a completely different theater. That beautiful dome was hidden for almost 20 years. Really all that's left besides the beams are um, these metal rings that are plastered into the wall and it's where they used to tie up the horses. I realized how many, how quickly things turn over, like stores and restaurants, and, because so many things just are constantly changing. It definitely makes you pay attention to the ones that haven't, where you go, oh, I remember that place from 10 years ago. So it's really cool that a lot of these places, these historic landmarks are protected and they can't be changed. And they're continuing, they're not just like museums, they're continuing to do what they did for so many years, you know.